Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinsetic with the Kinsetics, and I'm here with you guys today with moving vlog number four. So it's been a little minute since we did like, you know, a moving vlog. It's been a little minute since we did, you know, some things. But I'm here with you guys today with a new moving vlog. So in case you guys don't know, if you guys are new, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, welcome. You found your way to an amazing place on Beyonce's internet. My name is Kendra and I am a new homeowner. I recently relocated from the Bronx, New York to Houston, Texas. So I just been sharing my journey of home ownership with you guys. So if you guys are interested in owning a home, if you guys already own a home, you guys have some inspo, you guys, you know, get some laughs, you guys see everything, okay? I share everything. So, with that being said, today we have another moving vlog. So, in today's moving vlog, my objective is to build my bed because the bed is finally here. Like, after almost a month of sleeping on the ear mattress, your girl, her bed is here. So, okay, in the last moving vlog, you guys saw me build my box spring, but I have my mattress, I have my bed. And hopefully we get some good sleep tonight, okay? So I wanna build a bed. I wanna do some organization around the house. So in my bathroom, I wanna do some organization under the sink. And um, where else? Oh, I wanna unpack too. I need to get these boxes out of here. So that is the objective for today's moving vlog. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below and let's get on with the show, okay? So before we get started, I wanted to open some packages and show you guys some new things that I got. So if you guys didn't watch my last Sunday vlog, I went to New York for a week. I had to do some things for work and for myself. So I was in New York and while I was there, I did some home decor shopping. So I'm gonna show you guys Amazon packages that came, things that I got. I hate when I'm watching people's videos and their notifications go off. So nobody usually hits my line until it's time for me to record a video. I swear. But I'm going to show you guys things that came from Amazon, things I picked up while I was in New York, and just some other things that are just new, okay? So first of all, if you guys watch, I think it was either moving vlog number one on my um, empty house tour. I shared with you guys that I want to collect Starbucks mugs. So I don't know what it is about Starbucks mugs, but I'm obsessed. I've always been obsessed with Starbucks mugs. Their cups are cool, but their mugs. So I told myself that when I got my house, which I did as you guys can see, I want to start collecting Starbucks mugs. So you guys know I travel a lot. I haven't traveled a lot recently because y'all see where all my money is going, but I do travel a lot and when I travel I always think like hmm what would I want as a souvenir or what would I want people to bring me back as a souvenir and I would just like Starbucks mugs because I'm obsessed. So I got my first collector's piece. So I have this Starbucks mug which I got from Target in moving vlog number one I think. It's like this mint green printed mug. It's so freaking beautiful but it's just like a regular mug which isn't you know isn't a problem but as far as the collector's piece so starbucks has this collection i didn't even know about it it's the been there series so it's basically a series of across the globe collection celebrate your hometown pride and jet set travel so i don't know if starbucks are my mind or what because if you guys watch back when i went to the philippines for my 25th birthday i'm like i need to start collecting mugs so either way this is my first one this is new york of course i had to get my hometown as the first mug so you guys can see it has like some landmarks on it so it says like the knickerbocker state nakes it says erie canal finger lakes um lake area lake ontario the flag the new york flag i don't know what this is um some animals adirondack baseball the skyline and then it says new york but this mug is so freaking cute so i'm gonna wash it first and then i'm gonna go ahead and in my cup cupboard i'm gonna make this shelf here for my mug so we'll organize that too well we only have one thing to organize so but yeah so i got that and then when i went to home goods i got some trash bins for the bathrooms so these were on sale for eight dollars like and i was actually able to find two so these are gonna go in my toilet closet in my bathroom and then in my guest bathroom so these are so freaking cute eight dollars and the regular price was 16 and it says compare at 24 so really cute they fit like the gray aesthetic of what i'm trying to build with my home 
So yeah, we finally have trash bins. I don't have to truck all the way to the kitchen to throw my stuff away anymore. So now moving on to Amazon. I came home to so many goodies from my registry. So before we even get into it, thank you guys so much for blessing my home. You guys are more than amazing. What do you bless my home with? Kind words, a prayer, thoughts, a gift. I'm super appreciative, so thank you guys so much. And if you guys still wanna bless my home, I will have my Amazon and Target registry links down below for your ease of reference. But um, yeah, we'll be turning this house into a home. So thank you guys so much. So first up from Amazon, area rug pad for our floor. So this is a rug pad for the rug that I'm gonna put under my bed, which you guys are gonna see in a few. So when I was gone, y'all, I ordered so many things for the house. And tomorrow's a holiday, tomorrow's Columbus Day, so everything is basically coming on Tuesday, which is fine with me, I'm not in a rush, but um, yeah, I have ordered so many things. Like, the transformation that you guys are gonna see in this vlog is giving bedroom transformation, it's giving bathroom transformation, like, y'all are gonna be like, girl, what? Girl, yes. And I'm trying to break my boxes down once I open them because baby, when I tell y'all that it's been taking me an hour to break down boxes before garbage night, an hour, and I don't like that because my garage is hot as hell. So here I am making my honest effort to break boxes down as they come in. Next up, we have another package from Amazon. Dominique, my girl Dominique, just Dominique here on YouTube and Instagram. That is my girl, okay? But she blessed my home with a TV belt. Ah! So I actually need to get a TV. <laughs> I need to order a TV, but she got me my belt. So thank you so much, sis. I told you guys in my last movie vlog, like, I don't know if I want a TV in my bedroom. So let me know what you guys think. And like 50% of y'all, no, I'm lying. Like 25% of y'all said you have a TV in your room and 75% said they don't. I don't think I'm gonna put a TV in the room for now, but if things change, I'll decorate in a way where if things change, it'll be easy for me to put the TV up in the room if you get what I'm saying. So that's my decision for now. I'm just like, I don't really know how I feel about TVs in a bedroom because growing up, we were never allowed to like have entertainment in the bedroom. So I feel like I kind of like that idea now that I'm older. At first, I'm just like, damn, I wanna lay down and watch Saturday morning cartoons. But now I understand because it's like, when you're so comfortable in your room, you don't get up and do things and you just don't end up being as productive. So maybe it was a blessing that I grew up that way. Well, it was a blessing that I grew up that way. So that is the initiative I wanna take in my bedroom. And then if things change, we could do what we wanna do. Next up, I have another gift. This is from my sis. This is from my sis, Cherise. Thank you so much, girl. So let's see what she has. Stainless steel bag dispenser. So right now all of my shopping bags are just in a cupboard and don't like that. So I put this on my registry so that I can have somewhere to put bags. So I'll show you guys. So it has like these three M things, but I'm gonna put it up with the nail. So this is how it looks. So you go ahead and you stuff the bags in and then so I'm gonna put this up in my pantry, actually. Oh yes, perfect. Oh, I am so happy. Oh, we got some goodies to help with our bathroom organization. I have a long nail while trying to do shit. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to be a hot girl so bad. So this is the brand new from. If you guys watched my room organization back in the day when I was still living in New York in the Bronx, this brand story, I love their organization stuff. They're on Amazon and they have tons of stuff. So they have like the little tray. So if you wanna organize like a draw, you can get like the little acrylic organizers from there. But um, I got these because you guys are gonna see how everything is gonna come together. This is how the one she got me look. So it's just like this, and you pull it out, and you can stack them, you can put them like next to each other. So I'm gonna show you guys 
what we're gonna do when we get to that step. Thank you, Sharice girl. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And we have one last Amazon package. Let's see what it is. All right, now, who's this from? Oh, this is from Sharice too. Okay, girl, not you running up my registry like that. She got me this laundry. Oh, okay. She got me this collapsible laundry bin. This is so nice. So you just open it like, push it in, and it's this, like a laundry basket. Even though I have a lot of space, I don't want it to look like I have a lot of stuff. So even with stuff like this, I'm like, I want things that I can use, but once I'm not using them, I don't want to have to see them. I don't want them to be taking up space. So that's really what I've been focusing on as I am, you know, turning my house into a home. But thank you, Sharice girl. Thank you guys so much to everyone who has purchased something off of my registry is planning to. Thank you guys so much in advance. But yeah, let me bring these things to the garage because I told y'all I'm not new habits, okay? New habits. Tip from movers. Do not take the tag off of anything until you're 100% sure that you want to keep it. So, I'm just going to disinfect these trash cans, well, trash bins. And I'm going to line them with some plastic bags. And I'm just putting this piece inside. Nobody has to know that I'm still thinking about it. All right, you guys, next task are these floors because they are dirty. So we're going to clean them off before we get started putting anything in here. So I'm gonna do this in advance so it's dry. So first I'm just gonna pick up this tape. So this is the before. The before. So I'm just gonna use water and Dawn soap and just clean the floor down and then go in with the Swiffer. Okay, so floor is clean besides that little spot right there. Let me go get that. <laughs> floor is basically clean. I'm about to lay down my rug pad and then my rug. So let's do it. Sidebar, why did I edit a whole vlog to go for you guys today? Today is Sunday, October 9th. And Final Cut just quit. And when it opened back, a lot of my changes were gone. So I just feel like it wasn't meant for me to upload for a week. So either way, that video is gonna go up tomorrow. I'm not even stressing myself. Okay, so I decided to keep the rug this way just because when I put it long ways, I feel like it closed off too much of the front of the room. So this blue tape that you guys can see here is where my bed will end on the rug and then we'll have, I think I measured it at 23 inches remaining. So let me go ahead and bring the rug in. Okay, so here's how the rug fits in the room. We have some space um, 
the what was saying the match the mattress pad the rug pad was a little longer than the rug with my hand yeah you guys can see it here so i'll cut that at the end but i'm gonna start assembling the bed but it looks good so far it looks good so far girls oh i'm tired i ain't gonna do shit yet Six hours later and we have a bed. We have a bed. I did all of this by myself. Like, <laughs> I wanted to give up so many times, but I didn't. I do have to tighten some screws down here because as you guys can see, it's kind of like leading forward. I don't know what's going on with that, so I have to fix that. But yeah, zero screwdriver, six hours, blood, sweat, and two buckets of tears later, we got a bed. So I'm about to put my box spring on it and then open my mattress. So that that could do what it has to do. I ordered food. Because your girl is hungry and she deserves a meal after all of this. And I don't feel like cooking. So, um, yeah. This was a lot. Like, <laughs> if somebody told me it would have been this hard, Task Rabbit. Is that you, baby? So, time to put my mattress down. I put the box from on the bed already. But my mattress is coming from All Swell. Let me put y'all down so y'all can see. This is their Lux Hybrid mattress in a king size for the queen period so this is a mattress in a box which is like um i don't want to say a new technology but a common technology now versus you know getting a big lumpy mattress set to your house so you just gotta open it up and allow it to expand so let us see let us see this mattress claims that it will have a sleep pool be supportive anti microbial protection and certified foam so we're gonna see we're gonna see if it's one thing that's gonna test your muscle strength maybe try to put a bed together by yourself yeah this thing just exploded on me like at least give me a little warning oh my back Box. oh people make these mattresses look so cute when they open them these things are so heavy yeah. Hey guys, so ooh, not my lippy in this droop. Girl. Okay, let's try this again. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's currently Monday, October 10th. Today is Columbus Day. But yeah, some reason I have work. We're never gonna talk about that. But yesterday, listen, the strength and energy and everything it took out of me to build this van. I slept amazing though. So I never came back and showed you guys the finished product. It's not the finished product, it's just progress. So let me show you guys. The bed isn't made yet because I'm currently washing like the sheets and stuff, but this is how it looks. I love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to, you know, make the bed up and stuff. The only thing is the mattress opened up the wrong way. So basically I have the bottom of the mattress at the top right now. So when my handyman comes, I'm gonna ask him to flip the mattress for me. So I guess that's why it looks a little crazy right now. But um, yes, I love it. What do you guys think so far? <laughs> okay, now onto another beast, the bathroom. It looks a mess. I'm unpacking. Everything is just all over the place, okay? So I really wanna focus on organizing this area back here, as well as under my sink. Like, it's a hot mess right now, but we gonna get it together, okay? So first things first, I'm just trying to figure out how I specifically want to organize this area right here. So I kind of want to put my fragrances here. At first, I wanted to leave my fragrances in my closet, but I feel like it could be a vibe here if I present them appropriately. This eucalyptus I bought and it's basically dead. So if I could find a reason to keep dried eucalyptus, we'll do that. My steamer, I'm gonna put that somewhere else. And then this little planter that I got from Ikea, we'll see what we're gonna do with that. And then I have some glassware down here. These are from my dad's house. So I definitely wanna incorporate that somewhere in the house. I just left them here for now just so I can see how they look. 
So um, yeah, my fragrances right now, I was just playing around with them. So I kind of like them color coordinated. So on this side, I'm gonna put like the pinks and the reds. On this side, I'm gonna put the neutrals. And then I just ordered another fragrance stand to put like the blues, greens, and others on. So that'll probably go like centered up here. So that's what's going on right now. I'm just basically organizing my fragrances. So I'll put you guys up so y'all can see what's going on. This looks so beautiful to me, like what? Wow. I feel like I need more fragrances though because the other stand only has like five. Well, we'll have five, so. What do we think? And then I'll probably put like a little floral situation in the middle. Maybe I could put like this and like put some flowers in it or something. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Hey guys, so. I just got ready because I'm about to head to the stores. I need to go grocery shopping and I wanna find some home decor items. So that's where we're going. Later than I expected to, it's currently 1.30 and I wanted to head out by like 12. So it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. So I think, do I like these pants with this top? No, I don't, it's giving school uniform. I think I'm just gonna put on some denim shorts and call it a day. I already wore this outfit already. The real ones know, but they know not to act like they know. All right, Levi shorts it is. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Reese Cooper t-shirt, these Levi shorts that I got from Nordstrom. And then I'm gonna put on a pair of sunglasses, shoes. Hmm. I don't know. I have not unpacked my sneakers yet, so. Let's see what we have, and I didn't tell you guys my fragrance, but today I put on this Toka Gia. This stuff is so freaking good. So, this is my scent of the day. I took a nice long shower, and yeah, let me accessorize, and then I'll be back. I'm in Target now. They have some cute sunglasses. I saw Brianna post about this candle. So I'm gonna try it out from heart and hand in Target. I'm gonna smell some candles to see what I like, if I like anything. This is Casa Luna Tranquility. It smells very clean. And it has four wigs, so love that. Oh baby, $30. Why are these candles so expensive? This is what I need to be, this little section right here. Well, I usually get my stuff. Am I late to them having caraway at Target? Or maybe the price? Yeah, let me go ahead and email them, because 145 for a pot is crazy. That was a bath sheet. Like the difference between a bath towel and a bath sheet. It is safe to say that I am God's favorite. Like, look how beautiful this is. On sale for nine cash. My girl. Me and my home girl. Good thing I came over here. Look at these dining chairs, so cute. But I still don't know what I wanna do with that area, so. Yeah, what, 120? Ooh, baby, 180, forget it. 
Hey y'all, so I'm in Randall's now, the supermarket. And they have so many like plant-based and just alternative options. This may be our new place, we shall see. Yeah, I'm just gonna shop and I'll show you guys what I get when I get home because they have music playing, so yeah. Hey you guys, so I'm home now. And the supermarket was cool, but I feel like Randall's is it my, oh, it won't be my first choice of grocery shop. Um, the produce was trash. Um, they did have a lot of like alternative options. I'll give them that. So they had like, you know, a lot of vegan options within each section of the supermarket. The customer service, baby. What is the hiring process? Because when I tell y'all I was at the register and I'm like, my whole case of water busted up because the lady didn't put it right the, back the right way. And I'm just like, you could have just asked me to scan it or you could have asked me to pick it up if you didn't want to put my stuff back correctly. So, um, yeah. It's not my first choice of supermarket. I prefer, I think I went to Ralph's and Kroger before and those were way better. But Randall's? And I was gonna go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, but it's 6.20 and I left the house at what, two o'clock? So I was just like, I'll do that tomorrow morning or whatever, cause my body is just tired. So let me show y'all what I got. So on another episode of Plastic Aesthetic, we went to Target, we went to the Home Goods, Marshalls and Randall's. So I'll show y'all what I got. All right, we'll start off with Home Goods. I got a few things. I thought it was gonna come to more than it did, but everything came to $97, so I was not upset at all. First up is my home girl. I showed y'all in the store. Got this beautiful flamingo from Home Goods. It was $9 on sale, and the regular price was $20, so we love a good sale. So I literally have a whole collection. Kim was like, How many do you need? However much, however many. However many there are on the earth, I need it. Cause you guys know I'm addicted to flamingos. So I'm gonna just put it here for now. I literally have a whole collection. Like, ugh. do y'all see? So freaking beautiful. Eventually I'll put them wherever in my house, but I'm just leaving them here for now. So the goal is to have this whole shelf full, okay? Whole shelf full. So, yeah. Oh, I have to put my garbage out tonight too. Grr. I got this pack of washcloths. It was $7.99. They're so like they feel so good. This brand. Hotel. What is it? Hotel Bendum. Spa collection 100% 100% zero twist cotton. I don't know what that is, but these feel good. So I'm gonna put these up in the washing machine. So I have these for myself and for my guests. And then I also got this, these two um juice jars. They're just like clear jars with a white top. So I got these because I was planning to make like fresh orange juice and um, water with like mint, lemon, and fruits in it. But I told you guys the produce section was trash. So hopefully I have better luck at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. And then I got this fruit stand situation. All oh, those juice jars were $6.99 by the way. And then this um, fruit stand was $7.99. So it has this little hook to put bananas on it and then it has this area here to put like oranges, mangoes, whatever you wanna put down here. So I'm gonna put this on top of my fridge. Next up from Home Goods, I got two of these basin situations to go on the shelf in my bathroom. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. The moment of truth, they come out too far. I kinda figured that would be an issue but I wasn't too sure. Oh, I can put them this way. Okay, let me get the other one. Okay, how do we feel about these two? Let me know, I still have the tag on it. So if it has to go back, it will go back, depending on your comments. But I plan to put like extra wash rags in here, towels and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. So it'll be this here and then the fragrance stands, some type of like floral situation in the middle. This shelf is gonna come out. I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but hopefully you guys see the vision coming together. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think I should put in this area. I'm open for, you know, opinions. But for now, these are gonna stay here. These were $12.99 each, by the way. So let me know. If not, they're going right back. And then from Home Goods, I also got this throw pillow for my bed. I think this is so cute. It's like a gray tan color. I don't know if it's gonna come off on camera, but I feel like it would offset 
cute with my um white sheets so yeah i got this okay next up our groceries so i got a case of water but it busted so i have two random waters in So, Randall's, I got ooh, three bananas for breakfast. I don't have a smooth, uh, smoothie, I don't have a blender yet. So I can't make like my smoothies, but. And then I also got two tomatoes on the vine, but not on the vine. <laughs> And I got a bag of lemons. This was the most decent looking one and I wasn't in love, but I was just like, told you, the produce sucks there. Like, sucks. They didn't even have fresh mint. Like, you know it's a problem. You know it's a problemo. You know I have preguntas. When you're in a supermarket and you don't have fresh mint, like, did someone forget to go pick it up this morning? Did the delivery get lost? Like, let me know what's going on because I don't think I've ever been to a supermarket that doesn't have fresh mint. I don't know. Things were strange in here. Things were real strange. And then I got some popcorners when I'm ready to have a little treat. I got these to try. This is a pancake mix. It says it's plant protein. So I'm gonna see if I like it. I used to get one from this brand, but I forgot what it said on it and I didn't see it in the supermarket. So we trying new things. I got my favorite bread, Dave Killer white bread, done right, period. And then I got some, oh my God, my girl Eddie was talking about this. It's the Biscoff cookie butter, but the crunchy type. You guys know I love crunchy peanut butter. So I was like, let me try this out and see what it's hitting for. So I'm gonna try it on my bread probably tomorrow morning. And then I got some cheese. What's this? Oh, <laughs> I got these breadcrumbs. They said they are vegan breadcrumbs. So in case you guys don't know regular breadcrumbs, they do have dairy and these don't. So I have these in my little stash whenever I'm doing a recipe that calls for breadcrumbs. I got some cheese. BioLife, this is the best vegan cheese, period. I got the cheddar in the Mexican style for my sandwiches, for my pastas, and all of that. So excited. Oh, I got some adobo. I don't know what it's been. And the girls and the boys in Houston know me using adobo. Maybe it's the stores I've been to. But it's been a struggle to find adobo. And I meant to pick it up when I was home. But it slipped my mind. So I got this adobo. This is a mini one. But I just like having the big one. Like the big size. So that, you know, I never feel like I'm running out. But that's all random tap for me, girl. And then I got some strawberry jam. For when I make my um, toast in the morning and my peanut butter and jelly. Let me not put that on the edge. And then I got some maple syrup. This is from Signature Select. I'm guessing this is Randall's like store brand, kind of like how Stop and Shop has their brand, ShopRite has their brand. If you're from New York, you know those stores. But I guess this is like a Randall's brand. So this is pure maple syrup. And as you guys can see, what's the only ingredient? Maple syrup. Right, what else? Um, oh, from Randall's, I also got this. So Randall's has Starbucks inside of it. And I showed you guys, hold on, let me put this down. I showed you guys at the beginning of this vlog that I got the Starbucks New York mug. And guess what I found today? I found the Starbucks Houston mug. So we have two items in our collection. So this one was $12 as well, but it has, what does it have on it? It's green. It has cows, horses, lobsters, horseshoe, uh, cowboy boots, what else? Cowboy hat, spaceship, um, capital of the Sun Belt. So, um, yeah, cute little mug to add to my collection. Houston checked off, New York checked off. So I have my hometown and my current city to start off my collection. I think that's real cool, real cute. Burger buns when I went to Target. So these are the burgers. Burger buns done right from Beef Killer, not the bread. I got this candle, so I saw Brianna Monique post this candle on Instagram and I was like, I need to try it out because it's so cute and it matches the aesthetic of my home decor. This like stone gray color is super cute. So this candle was $6. And I don't really smell nothing, but we are gonna see when it burns. So I'll let y'all know if y'all need to spend $6 on that because 
I was kind of upset, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm gonna keep this as home decor after, so I'm not that upset. But um, yeah, you kind of pay for the packaging too, because it's like stoneware, so. Okay, and then, oh my God, guess what I used today? My refrigeration bag, I told y'all. Grocery shopping to another level. Like, when I have my insulated Birkin bag, nobody talks to me, okay? I can pack my own groceries. That's what it's giving. In here, I got some Starbucks iced coffee. This is the blonde roast. This is what I like. I don't drink coffee often, but I just like to have it on those mornings where, you know, it's a struggle. And then I got this creamer. I like this creamer. This is the oat milk creamer. Brown sugar plant based. I got this from Target. I didn't even know Target had it because the last time I bought it, I got it from Stop and Shop in the Bronx. And then I got three bags of these sweet potato fries because these are the best sweet potato fries ever. And that is basically it. So I'm going to wipe everything down because, yes, I still wipe my groceries down. Don't be nasty now. And then I'm going to um, kind of just relax for a bit and figure out what I want to make to eat tonight. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my little grocery haul. Your girl is tired if you cannot tell already. It was me, Jones, and on the phone with Amazon. But they got a lot of packages for me, so let's, let's bring them in. I guess it makes sense that they send like the bigger stuff on one truck and then the smaller stuff on another truck but guess what's here my desk for my office so I'm actually gonna finish editing this video for you guys put it up and then we're gonna build a desk so yeah the way that I have like 20 Amazon packages for my house is crazy oh my god open the door I'm like what the fuck is going on I'm sorry I look a mess I've been working all day I'm stressed out I'm just gonna admit it but um I'll bring these packages inside so that I can open them and take care of them because maybe once the frogs come out, y'all know. I don't do frogs. I don't do the frogs. I don't do the grub. One thing about it, two things for show. My tribe does not play with me, and I don't play with myself either because most of these things are things that I order, okay? <laughs> I'm just tell y'all up front. But um, let me catch my breath and start opening these packages because, boy, it's about to be a time. It is about to be a time. Good morning. It is the next day. I was so out of it yesterday. I didn't really vlog too much. But today, I'm getting back, okay? I'm trying to get back. So, what did I do yesterday? My desk came yesterday, as I showed you guys. I started building that, but I did not um, finish it yet. But in today's video, like this moving vlog number four, I really want to focus on my bedroom and my bathroom remodeling, not remodeling, but my bedroom and my bathroom transformation and organization. So, I will show you guys the office space, the desk and everything in moving vlog number five. But, I wanted to show you guys things that came from Amazon yesterday as well. Some other items that I picked up when I went back to New York last week. So, we're going to start off with the items from New York. So, when I tell you guys that I got picture frames, I got picture frames. So, let me tell y'all this first before I show y'all what I got. Growing up, my family, specifically like my dad's side of the family, was really into like pictures, like taking pictures, printing pictures, having photo albums, hanging them around the house. And that's something that I really loved and appreciated. And I didn't really know how much I appreciated it until my dad passed away and I had all of these memories. So I feel like now with social media, our concentration is just like, you know, to take these cute aesthetic photos. And this is your reminder to make sure that you are taking pictures to the memories, whether you have kids, a family, yourself. Take the picture to take the picture. Like even sometimes when we go places, I'll tell my friends like, do you want a picture? And they're like, oh no, like I don't look good. And I'm like, you don't have to post everything you take. You know what I'm saying? So let this be a reminder to make sure that you are taking photos and not just photos of yourself, but photos of what's around you, your environment, your dog, your cat, 
um, anything. Just make sure you are capturing moments so that you can look back at photos and relive, or you can, you know, pass them on to your kids, your grandkids, or whatever the case is. So, in my house, I want to have photos, you know, around. So, I was like, let me start doing photo frames, like getting photo frames, so that when I have the pictures, I can just go ahead and slip them in. So, um, I was kind of contemplating on doing a gallery wall somewhere in my home. I was kind of thinking my dining room area since that'll be more of, um, I guess like a family room type of thing. I don't know. But, um, let me know your thoughts on gallery walls, X, Y, and Z. But, these are the photo frames I picked up. So, all of these I got from Home Goods. So this is the first one. It's like a floating photo frame. I feel like these are really trendy right now. But I kind of wanted like different sizes and different shapes when I was purchasing photo frames. So, and this one has like a kickstand in the back. So you could like put it up like this. It doesn't have the thing to hang it on a wall. So this is definitely something that I can see. I just placed it on my desk. Then I got this one. This one is from the brand Thomasville. I love like their frames, even on like their mirrors. But this one is like a wooden frame. So I told you guys in my house, I want to have like grays, blacks, and like, you know, splashes of natural wood. So this fits in perfectly. I love the quality of this frame. And it was only $4.99. And this one holds a 4x4 image. So... I got this one, which is also from the brand Thomasville. This one fits a 4x6, and I love this one because since it fits a 4x6, I can either keep it like this way, vertical, or I can get spicy and I can make it <laughs> portrait, period. So I love how it has this wooden frame and then this white border around it. It's super cute. As I mentioned before, their frames are really great quality. So if you're into getting photo frames, I'm telling you, number one, go to HomeGoods. Number two, Make sure you're getting frames at a good quality because the last thing you want is for your frame to be breaking on you, especially if it's something you're hanging up. This one is my favorite. I actually got two of these. So it's a four by six and it's like a simple black border. So I didn't want to do like, you know, too many prints or too many textures because I still don't know what my idea for like my photo situation in my home is. I was just like, let me just keep it general for now. And then once I figure it out, I can go ahead and get spicy. But this one has a kickstand too. So I can either, you know, keep it vertical, put it portrait. And it also has a kickstand and the opportunity to hang it up. I got this one, which I thought was so cute. It's another floating frame situation. But this one is bigger, so this one can hold up to um, seven by five, I believe. And it does have a kickstand. So this one is very fragile, so I was kind of skeptical about it, but I was just like, it looks so cute. So these are the photo frames that I picked up. And I actually have some photos that I want to frame. So I have these prints from when I went to the um, Black Fashion Fair at um, Brooklyn Museum, what was that, a month ago? So we took pictures and they gave us like prints, which I really, really appreciated because when you go to events, they always like, let me text it or email it to you. And it's like, oh, where's your printer? Where's your printer? So I got these and I want to frame at least one of them. So I'm going to figure it out and I'll probably put it in this frame or this frame. So I'll show you guys once I decide, but yes, photo frames loading, pictures loading around the clip ski. And now we're gonna get into the Amazon stuff because you guys saw yesterday. <laughs> Amazon had a trip to deliver my stuff, okay? So some of them are gifts and some of them, well, half of them are gifts that Kim blessed my home with and then um, the other half are just items that I picked up for myself. So in case you guys don't know, Kim is my sister. She's super supportive. She's helped me out so much along this journey. I honestly wasn't expecting anything from her because I'm just like, she did a lot. Like she came down when I was in my clothes and everything, but she went him on your girl, okay? So let me show y'all my little gifts. Not my little gifts, my gifts, period. So I already took everything out the box just so it's easier to do this haul. But um, she got me a la another laundry basket. I had two of these on my registry because I'm like, when I have guests, I want them to have like their own laundry basket. Or if I'm doing like multiple loads of laundry, I want to be able to have baskets to put them in. So I always like to have two laundry baskets, even when I was living like, you know, back at home or back in New York. I had two laundry baskets. It's the same one I showed you guys earlier in this vlog. It's a collapsible um, laundry bin and they fit right on the side of my washer so perfect because I told you guys I want to have stuff But I don't want to make it look like I have mad shit in my house Then she got me these 
These are like um, silicone pot holders. So you know when the pot is hot and you wanna rest it on your counter or whatever, these you could just put like underneath the pot. So it comes with two circular ones and two square ones. So we love that. And then she got me this um, oh, battery operated. It's a bag sealer. So you know when you have a bag of chips and you put the clip on it and it just don't be as fresh when you go back for that second dip. So this is a bag sealer. So I found this on um, Instagram Reels too. Um, along with, I don't know if you guys remember from, I think moving vlog number one or two, the countertop vacuum. Listen, these little rules, we have you find stuff that you don't even know exists. So this is a bag sealer, so you just take it, slide it across the top, and it basically like reseals the bag so your items can stay fresher. So she got me that. Then she got me these foldable storage cubes because in my closet space, like you guys know I have shelves at the top, and I just have stuff up there and I wanna really organize it. Also, I have some clothes that can't hang, so it's just like, where do I put it? So I found these on Amazon. They're just like cubes and of course <laughs> gray, but they, you know, fold. So even like if I have something in it and I'm like, okay, I don't want to have it open anymore, I can collapse it and I could go ahead and store it. So we love that. So I plan on putting like underwears in here and putting it at the top of my closet, um, my workout clothes and stuff like that. So this did come with a pack of six. So we have things to do. Okay, we have things to do things with. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but I really want to organize under my sink because I have so many products and it just looks a hot mess right now. So, Kim actually had these storage bins and I'm like, wow, those would be perfect. So, I added it to my registry and she got them for me. But, I think I had to order some on my own though, if I remember correctly. So, once again, from that brand story. So, these drawers are deeper than the ones I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. It goes like this, so they're tall enough to fit like my skincare, more of my body care and stuff like that. So it comes in a set of two, so Kim got me a set of two and then I also got myself a set of two, so I won't open both of them to show you guys because it's literally the same thing. <laughs> Breaking down boxes as we go, because I told y'all, garbage day yesterday was so easy because all I had to do was put my stuff outside versus having to stand there breaking boxes up, so. Shout out to me for making my life easy. Hashtag soft life. And my girl knows that I do not play about my sleeps. So she got me two pillows. I believe these are king size pillows. I heard a lot from this brand firm in Willow because I was trying to find some good pillows and I saw people recommending it. So these are hypoallergenic king size pillows. Cause y'all know I got a king size bed. This is the size of it, a king size pillow. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave these to open throughout the day and then later on I'll make my bed. And then she also got me a box of hangers. These come with 50. So this came right in time because I'm still trying to unpack and I needed more hangers, so. Another felt hanger. Okay, now let's get into the things I bought for myself. So I was carrying in the Amazon cart for a cute little minute. And I was just like, what do I really need right now? Because leave it up to me and I'll get everything in my Amazon wish list. So I'm like, okay, what, what are the priorities? Like, what do we need right now? So the first thing that I got is this Casper Glow Nightlight. So quick little confessional. I don't like sleeping in the dark. I don't. But I also am not going to pay the bills to have the light on all night. So I was just like, I need a nightlight. Like, it may seem childish. So comment down below. Let me know. Can y'all sleep in the dark? Because I certainly cannot. So I saw this on Amazon and I'm like, ooh, I'm intrigued. It had good reviews. It says it has a backlight design. It's motion sensor. So when I get up and you don't have to urinate in the middle of the night and it has an ambient light sensor. So this is how it looks. It's cute, it's compact. So I'm gonna put this in tonight. Next up, I got this OxyClean. So Kim told me I needed this because remember that bodysuit, the white Eritrea bodysuit that I wore on my closing day with the green suit? So the green bled onto the white and I was just like, wow, how am I supposed to clean this off? And Kim was like, just soak it in some OxyClean. So I went ahead and I got the big John. This box is like $13, but they do have smaller sizes. But she told me like each time I probably have to use like a full cup. So I'm gonna see 
this does have bleach so you could go ahead and put it on color clothes as well and it says it works in so many different things or so many different ways so I'm interested in trying it out and seeing but it says it works on pet stains so if you have a little pet and you know they do they do try this out on your laundry to clean the red wine stains I'm like that is a huge claim so we shall see on appliances on carpets patio grout and upholstery and online it was saying I could put it in like my trash bin and it helps clean it out so I got this I'm gonna test it out and I'll definitely give you guys updates in my upcoming vlogs and then I got this tray because backstory, I really wanted a black tray to put on my bed so I could like, you know, make it look cute when I make my bed. I could put like, you know, a little full flower on it. Um, I could put like um, a book or whatever the case is. So I got this to see if this really fulfilled my needs. Okay, I don't have to build nothing, I love that. Oh, this is cute. So this is how it looks, it's like a steel material super sturdy but i could go ahead and i could put like a little full flower on it a little cup if i'm having like tea in bed i could go ahead and put it on this so yeah i love this another thing about me is that i hate making a bed like the process of picking up the mattress tucking the sheets in fluffing the pillow all of that like it's not my strongest suit but i'm gonna work to you know get better in that area but i got a little tool to help me out once again i found this on ig reels because i told y'all they'd be telling you what you need on amazon without you even know that it exists like isn't the internet such an amazing place sometimes emphasis on the sometime so i got this what is this called a bed made easy so what you do is you can put it under your mattress so that it holds it up while you go ahead and tuck the sheet. Like, they only had this color though. So, um, yeah. We'll see when it's time to make the bed. If this thing works or not. Next up, I got a black and Deller, black and Deller, black and Decker toolkit. I already started using it yesterday when I was building my desk. But it has so many different pieces. It has a drill. So when I tell y'all I'm about to be going crazy with my drill, I'm about to be going crazy with my drill once I figure out how to use it. But it has so many different pieces. It has like different heads. So I'm really excited about this. I think this was like $100. And on the box it says, and on the box it says it's an over $150 value. So I'm really excited about this. Like as an adult, as a homeowner, these are the things that really make me happy. So yeah i'm so happy that i got this for myself next up i got a collapsible basin just like the um laundry basket you just go ahead and push this out so this is the basin it's a cute little size so i can use it for so many different things it's just something that i need around the house and then oh my god i'm so excited about these so i have belts i have hats i have accessories that i'm like how am I going to organize them in my closet? And I saw that Kim had this when she did her sale with um, Delicately Worn. In case you guys don't know, that is her thrifting page. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. She had her belts on this and I'm like, I've never seen that before. So I got a set of three. So they are these like hanger hooks. This is how it hangs like this, like a hanger. And then it has this insert. So you go ahead and put all of your belts or your hats here. And then it hangs. So I got three. I got one for my belt two for my belts and one for hat so i have a total of three i'm really excited about these because i can finally take them out the box and then i got a cute little mini waffle maker this is from the brand dash i always see this in tj maxx and target but i never see the black one and i'm like i need black because y'all know the vibes i'm going for so i got this and you guys saw i got some did I show you guys my, what I got from the supermarket the other day? Yeah, I showed you guys. So I got the um, pancake mix, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. So that'll probably be my breakfast for Friday or Saturday when I feel like, you know, giving myself a little treat. But I told you guys that I ordered another fragrance rack when I was organizing my bathroom shelves the other day. It's the same like acrylic rack, it's just like a shorter stem, so when I build it, I will Show it to you guys because I'm not, I don't have energy for that right now. I got myself some pillows. So, when I tell y'all that these pillows on Amazon have crazy reviews, like people were just like, I slept in ways I did not sleep in yours. These pillows fixed my neck. These pillows changed my life. 
these pillows tell me a man like when i tell y'all the reviews were crazy the reviews were crazy so i'm like i need to get these pillows and see what these pillows is hitting for okay because one thing about me is i will invest in anything related to sleep because y'all know i do not play about my beauty wraps so i got these in the queen size because people in the reviews i think were saying that like standard pillowcase fits on the queen size so we'll see this is a brand Beckham collection so if you guys have these pillows, comment down below and let me know because it seems like everybody has them except for me. Well, I've never ordered pillows before. I always bought my pillows from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. So look at me elevating in life. Look at me you know, growing up, getting better or whatever. Okay, so this is the size of these. These look like a, this looks like a standard pillowcase to me. So I guess the reviews are right, but we shall see. But I'm just gonna let it expand and then I'll sanitize these later. But that is everything that I got from Amazon, both for myself and for my sister. So thank you so much, Kim. You know, I love you, girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up and do some things around the house. And then I'll be back once we start organizing and putting things together. Loves, it's the next day. <laughs> and we're just gonna jump straight into it. So today's gonna be the last day of this moving vlog. So I'm trying to get stuff done. It's Thursday, by the way. But I need to finish unpacking. Not finish unpacking, but I need to make progress. I want to unpack at least two boxes this morning. So I'm going to start off in my closet, you know, hanging things up. And then I'm going to move on to bathroom organization. So let's go ahead and get into it. When I tell y'all I don't need any more clothes, I don't need any more clothes. Like I'm on the brink of running out of space, okay? But um, I wanted to show you guys how I hang my caps on this hanger that I showed you guys that I received from Amazon yesterday. So um, you have to open your caps up. So you open your cap and you're basically going to hook this space here onto this. So it goes like this. And then to save space, you could just like tuck them into each other if they fit. Okay. Okay. So where am I gonna put this in my closet? I'm trying to see if I should put it here next to accessories or back there in like that awkward corner that's hard to reach. I think I'm gonna put it back here. Hold on. Cause I wear hats, but I don't really wear hats that often. So I feel like them being back here isn't a problem compared to like clothes and stuff. Oh yeah. So I think this is gonna be my little accessories corner for these hanger things, cause it's just perfect, let me show you. So here it is back here. And you guys see it's like an awkward space because it's like it's either I put more hangers this way or more hangers this way, but this little intersection can't really hold much as you guys can see. But closet is moving along. I hung up more shirts and pajama stuff. Sweaters, I kind of had the same amount before. Pants, babes, I still have a whole box full of jeans. So we're going to see how this is going to pan out. But um, yeah, and then I have my shoes up here so far. And I'm going to figure things out, okay? I'm going to figure things out. And then here is like my longer stuff. But I just want to get things out the boxes so I can see what I have to figure out what's the best organizational method. So this is basically like step one. When the hell did I collect so many freaking belts? Like, this is only like part one of three. So, yeah. I'm definitely gonna need more of these little ring hanger things. So, I'm gonna add some to my registry. Yeah, that little corner is perfect, but I'm about to take a little break to get some work done. So, when I get off my break, I'm gonna move on to bathroom organization because I just need a break from the closet madness. Like, it's, it's becoming to be a lot. So, we're gonna. We're going to the bathroom when I get back. So, yeah. Bed Bath & Beyond could count their mother freaking days. Like, when I tell you guys that they tried to play me. When I tell y'all they tried to play me. Okay. So, long story short, I ordered a down comforter from Bed Bath & Beyond. Because it was on sale. You guys know they've been having sales. Sales, sales, sales. So, um, sorry. I'm making some black bean burgers. Because it's currently 1.30 and I haven't ate anything all day. So, anyway. Order the comforter on October 2nd. 
So when I place the order, I just play with Apple Pay because I was like laying down, didn't feel like looking for my card. You know, Apple Pay is just the most convenient. So I paid via Apple Pay and then I was I went to sleep and I was like, maybe I'll get the confirmation email by the morning. The next morning I realized I didn't get a confirmation email, but you guys knew I was in New York, I was running around. So the last thing I was thinking about was where's my confirmation email. So I get all of my stuff, like you know, to make my bed. And um I don't have a down comforter so I'm just like okay this is weird and then I remember like oh crap I don't even have a confirmation email to go see where my package is so this morning I was like I'm gonna call Bed Bath & Beyond to find out where's my package and why I didn't get a confirmation email so they're like oh we don't know why you didn't get a confirmation email but here's the information da, 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 da. so I go to the tracking and it says that on October 7th Friday they contacted the um shipper to give some missing information that they needed in order to deliver the item today's thursday so that's basically almost a week ago that the sender still has not responded to ups requests so i'm speaking to bed back and beyond today and they're like oh um the sender that they didn't send the package yet oh it's still in the warehouse oh it's um at ups so everyone i speak to has a different location of the package and i'm like bro on UPS, it says that they have it here in Houston, Texas, but the sender has to provide additional information in order to, you know, bring the package here. So, I'm like, I'm listening to UPS at this point because Bed Bath & Beyond don't know what they're doing, okay? They they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're saying. So, basically, UPS was like, I had to pay $8 to pick up my package. I still don't understand why I had to pay $8 to pick up the package, but at this point, I just want my shit, like... So I paid the $8, it was like seven something, I don't remember. So I'm just like, okay, fuck it, whatever. So um, I speak to Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm like, bro, they said that I had to pay the $8, da 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 da. They're like, no, you should have never paid the $8. And I'm like, but the sender is not giving them the information they need to bring the package here, so I'm gonna go get the package. So they're, Bed Bath & Beyond is supposed to get back to me by 5 p.m. I told them to call me at 5 p.m. because the sender still has not responded. And at this point, it's just like, I'm not ordering anything from y'all again because there's no reason why I have to pay my money for my goods and then have to reach out to you and ask you where my stuff is. Like, when I order something, I'm expecting it to come. I shouldn't have to contact you and remind you, like, hey, you have to give them missing information so they can bring come my package. So, um, yeah, I was just, like, they pissed me off this morning because I'm just like, and it wasn't a cheap comforter either. So I'm just like... I could have just went on Amazon and got something similar. And Amazon, y'all know, Amazon been eating the girls up because their customer service is a one. So, with that being said, just tread lightly when it comes to Bed Bath & Beyond because I don't know what's going on in their headquarters, but something ain't right. Something is not right and I'm not here to figure out what's not right. I'm just waiting for my friggin' um, comforter. Ooh. But, um... Yeah, I'm making black bean burgers for lunch, and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna go pick up my stuff after I eat. So you thought I was filming you? I think I'm in. Okay, eighty eighty for lunch. Hey guys, so I'm back. No update on my package, but in the meantime, before I get tired and take a nap, I'm gonna start organizing this bathroom. And then get back to unpacking. But your girl got a package from Nordstrom. It's not anything fancy. I just got another acne cream from PCA Skin because mine looks really ran out. So, um, yeah, I just got that. If you get breakouts, you need this. It's so freaking good. Like, your breakout will be gone mañana, tomorrow. Globrilla and Cardi B boys. So now let's get into this bathroom. I'm nervous because I know I have so much shit, but at the same time, things have to get done. So thank you to my beautiful sister Raven. She got me these to get off my registry. So I have a smart scale. Okay. This scale shows you like more than just how much you weigh. It shows you like the breakout of your weight and everything. So I have to figure out how to work this. But this is a brand that is from. And then she also got me these canisters, which I'm really excited for. So I'm definitely going to use one to put my oat flour in. One for brown sugar. And then I'm not sure what I'll use the other one for. But yes, thank you, Ray Bay. Love you, sis. 
I'll show you guys what under my sink looks like right now. It looks horrific, as you guys can see, it's a hot mess. When I say a hot mess, I mean a hot mess. Like, everything is just together, and I want everything to be categorized, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out. I had these two um, small drawers that I kind of started organizing already. And then, um, oh, I have this one. Sidebar, why did nobody tell me that Listerine is the worst mouthwash you would be using? I saw a tweet and it was like, I found out that Listerine was bad for me, but I'm gonna still finish my $9 bottle because one thing about me, I'm gonna finish this bottle and then we can speak about, you know, what's going on. Cause no money shall be wasted in Casa Kinesthetic. So, I have all of these organizers here, which I showed you guys in yesterday's part of this vlog. So, I want to um, organize them by, um, it's just us casually chilling on the floor. But this one right here, the one with like the deeper situation, I want to put my skincare serums in it. So all of my skincare is in here, nice and organized, you guys see? In this one here, I have my teeth whitening strips. I'm gonna use one for, let's see if this could fit. Oh, she cannot fit, she's too tall. Use one for like body care. I'm gonna make one with my main body care. So I have my Josie Moran body butter this is gonna go in for sure because this is like my daily body care josie moran is it focused my josie moran my fenty the start and grow fenty skin my osea my osea body butter this stuff is so good why is the camera not focusing this stuff is so good so oh she can't fit So this is like main body care. Okay, so your girl can finally stop living out of her makeup bag. In case you guys don't know, I've been living out of my makeup bag since before I even started packing up to move. But now, we unpack her. Ooh, ah. I'm gonna make one for oral care. Wow, this is amazing. Like, oh my God, look how organized everything looks. Let me turn this on. Look how organized everything looks. Are y'all not obsessed? All right, I'm about to place them under the sink. How they stack up to the same height as like two of these. I wanna see if this could still fit on top. Oh yes! Okay. Can it close? Ooh. It cannot close. So I'm gonna put my contacts here. And then my contact solution can go in here. You guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I have my contacts here. I kind of want to get like a long situation that matches these so that everything can be like, you know, in sync. But for now, that is my contact organization box. Skincare, oral care, main body care, 
other skin this is like an other drawer i have razors skincare deodorant and stuff in here my crest whitening strips my um lippy so lip balms lip exfoliator everyday makeup lip and lashes um, things that are too tall to go and stuff. So my deodorants, my oil cleansers, my toner, additional skincare, so pre-cleanse, arm cuffs, and cotton rounds. And then this one is empty right now, so I'm sure we'll find something to go in here. And then we have Listerine. So this is how it looks right now. I am obsessed. It looks so good compared to before. And now I have an extra, oh, I have two extra bins, period. Uh, so that I can organize other stuff. That worked out perfectly. And then over here, we have another nightmare. <sighs> okay, we just have stuff. So I kind of don't want to do this side yet because I want to figure out what I'm going to do. This is definitely going to stay. This is like my cleaning stuff and I definitely need that in my restroom. But um, this stuff is like my waxing stuff, travel stuff and stuff and stuff, stuff, stuff. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this. But this is a story for another vlog, not this one. You guys remember how at the beginning of this vlog, I told you guys, keep your tags on everything. I think I'm going to bring these back. <laughs> because now that I'm not using them in my bathroom, I'm like, okay, I can use them to put my, like, you know, hair products and stuff in. But I would prefer whatever organizational system I have for this to have lids so I can stack them. These bins are cool if you don't plan on stacking them or if they're going to be like the top tier of a stacking situation. But for the purposes I'm going to need, I definitely need something that will stack. So these may not work for me in the long run, which is why I'm happy I kept the tags on them. But I'm telling you guys, if you're not sure about something, leave them tags on. But I'm currently going to try to finish unpacking this box here. There's not much left. Um, it's just like my blow dryer, some products in here. And then this box here is just clothes that I need to figure out how I'm going to store. I don't really have much else that hangs besides my jeans and stuff, which is in here. So I'll probably finish unpacking this and then I need to order more hangers. Also, I wanted to show you guys my closets in my office space. So... Let me tell y'all real quick. This closet is going to be um, storage for my filming equipment plus vacation clothes. So I'm gonna end up pushing all of the vacation clothes like to the back. Um, I tried to like color coordinate. So whenever I'm ready to pack to go away, I'll just come in here and see everything before all of my vacation clothes are folded. So it was really hard to see what I had. But some of this, most of the stuff still has tags on it because I either bought it recently or I just wasn't aware that I owned it when I was packing for vacation. So this is going to make packing way easier. And then once I push these over, I'm gonna also store my suitcases in here. But this is kind of gonna be like a storage slash vacation closet because in your office space, like what do you have? Or in your, um, I guess like your girl's cave. What do you have in your closet? I'm curious to know. But for me, this is gonna be like storage. I'm gonna organize it better because right now I just have stuff all over the place. I just have stuff all over the place, but I promise you I'm gonna organize it better. I promise you. Have you guys ever purchased anything open box from Amazon? And when I say anything, I'm not just talking about um, tech items because I know tech items usually come in open box but I'm looking for some hangers like these hangers that Kim got me on Priority Street they're lit and I was like I want to order more to come tomorrow so I can finish organizing my closets and it's regular price is $36 but they have an open box option for $31 I'll try it out I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna see what it's hitting for and I'm gonna let y'all know in my next moving vlog because I'm about to end this moving vlog. Who's following me on Twitter? But I'm just here finishing organizing my closets and I'm so happy because I have not had access to my clothes for the longest because you guys know I've been packing X, Y, and Z. But baby, now that I have my pieces, the fits gonna be fitting. So. I did make a pile of like things I'm gonna donate to a shelter or to Goodwill or wherever. Um, just things that I packed and as I was putting them up, I'm just like, I can't see myself wearing this. So it doesn't make sense to have it in my closet. So 
that is what's going on. I'm so happy that I have a walk-in closet. Like, oh my God. My girl, I think her name is Kima, has been manifesting my walk-in closet for months, probably even years now. One of my subbies. Which Kima? Kima, I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Asphalt? But she's been manifesting my walk-in closet for months, probably even years. And look what we got. Like, look what we have. Okay, period. So if you think, I'm telling y'all now, I'm gonna say this again and over and over again, 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 again. If you think you can't get something done, I'm telling you guys, you can get it done. Hard work, determination, discipline, all you need, okay? All you need, and I promise you that the world is yours. The fact that I'm even standing in my house, like my house, like I did this by myself. I don't think I ever said this before, but I did this by myself. The capital behind it, the paperwork, the everything behind this house, I did it myself. I didn't ask, I asked some people for assistance, but for the most part, I did this shit by myself. And the fact that I'm able to stand here and do this, I did not, you know, get any help from parents, from family, from a man, from nothing. Like, I did all of this by myself, and I'm letting you guys know that if you want to get anything done, you can do it. You just have to put in the work. And I know it may sound cliche, but a lot of times, people want to get things, and they don't put in the work, and then they wonder why they didn't got it. But I want to be here to show you guys and to prove to you guys and myself most importantly that you can literally do anything you put your mind to so um i just wanted to share that little message i don't know where this vlog is gonna end i kind of wanted to close off the vlog by making my bed but i still didn't get a call from ups so we'll see but for the most part this is the end of the vlog i'll probably insert a clip at the end of my bed made up later on so that i could just start editing but i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog moving vlog number four as i mentioned before it's gonna be a while before moving vlog number five because i want to get back into like my regular vlogs like you know lifestyle weekend of life day in the life so weekend in the life whatever the case is so the next moving vlog should be uploaded in two weeks so if you guys are here for home content for moving content you guys will get another video in two weeks. But in the meantime, make sure you guys caught up on my previous content. If you guys made it all the way until the end of this video, make sure you comment down below with a purple emoji. And let me know what is one thing that you have on your mind that you want to get done that you're manifesting for yourself. Comment down below and let me know. A lot of times we don't like to speak on things before they're done. And I promise you I'm that type of person too. But um... I just want to hear some things that you guys want to get done, whether it be before the end of this year, whether it be next year, just comment down below and let me know. It doesn't matter how big or how small you may think it is, comment down below and let me know so that, you know, we could talk about things and I could probably help you guys out with something that y'all want to get done. So comment down below and let your girl know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I will have links to all of the items mentioned in today's video down below and I will be updating my Amazon storefront because I've been slacking, but I'm going to update it before I put this video up. I'm putting this here so that I can remember to do it. But I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Tell me what's it all about.